Welcome to LV Relove. Thank you for joining us today. I am showing you this wallet, French wallet. It's from 1998, so add the years. It's 21 years old. And literally, I don't think it's been used. The brass doesn't have any scratches. There's some slight, slight scratches on this. Stretched card slots. No rubbings, no cracks. Very pretty. The only sign of wear is there is peeling on the inside. Very common. The lining of these vintage wallets from a certain period tend to peel or disintegrate, deteriorate. I've already tried to started to clean off this, but see where the white is? That's how it how it peels off. Sometimes it's sticky, sometimes it's not. In this case, it's not. So the wallet is still usable. You can see maybe better in there. There you go. It's still usable and it's gorgeous and it's well made. Like I said, it's vintage. And what to do about this? Well, use it as is or what you can do. And and this is the quick method. I've tried others. I've tried rubbing alcohol. I have tried goof off or goo gone. But the easiest is just acetone or nail polish remover. And you really don't need that much, especially in a wallet of this size and the type of peel it is. It's not the black sticky stuff that's in some of the vintage bags. You don't want to get it on the exterior canvas because it will take off the monogram but see already there it is so you just continue to do that until you're satisfied with how much it's on there like I said it's not gonna it's not gonna affect the use even if you got tired of doing it and stopped here but with the way it disintegrates together you can leave the wallet or what I have done on some of these wallets is I have gone through and I have dyed with Feeling's leather dye the interior to make it more even or more dark. And I've also heard of people using Sharpie. I think that would take longer. Some people can even do this. Actually, this is probably the quickest I prop the inside to dry. If I feel like it's getting too wet, I'll do this and let it dry. You know, acetone dries really quickly. Oops. And then come back at it or, like I said, it's almost done. Yep, it's almost done. I find it's the quickest and you really don't need that much. See why you want to use <laughs> a glove. See, it's just, let me get this other half. Now it's only on one side of the wallet. The other side of the wallet well, is not peeling. It's actually a coated leather. So again, don't get it too wet. And I will show you here in a second what it looks like with it all dissolved. I only dipped my, my Q-tip in a couple of times. So you don't have to worry about getting it too wet. You don't want to get too wet because there are some, you don't want to get the leather soaked in the remover and you don't want to affect any kind of adhesive that might be inside yes or the glaze it'll actually melt the glaze off the sides the glaze is this edging on the sides that kind of cleans up the phrase. 
So there you go, the bill slot after three passes with a cotton pad. The sticky and peeling, oh this one wasn't sticky, it's removed. It's like a lighter brown. It looks a lot more even than what is showing up on the video, but you can dye that easily if you wanted to or if you have it full of money, no one will see. So the more, if I wanted to go back over, it'll just lighten it up, but no more peeling, no more sticky in this bill slot. Easy. So now you can shine it up with a little bit of Cadillac boot and shine. This is kind of an, an conditioner that is lightweight and a go-to for a lot of vachetta that is in decent shape. It doesn't have a lot of oils in it. And it shines right up. A lovely French wallet. It's 21 years old. Peeling's gone. Look at those card slots. And check out the coin kiss lock. It's super tight, super clean inside. Beautiful wallet. Lasts for many, many more years. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Comment below. Tell me if you have any video ideas. And till next time. Thanks.